Today we will look at one of a very interesting problems that is log guard. Okay. Usually we apply mutex in multi-threading programs. We use mutex to lock a part of code so that no two threads can run it at the same time and corrupt some of the shared data okay so that's why we use mutex locks and we basically a piece of code which is using some shared variables okay so we have this critical section locked using a mutex okay so we lock it and then when we are coming out so we use basically we unlock the mutex so this is the standard practice but we will see how we can make the mutex also smart like the smart pointers but anything we do so we should know what is the use okay so let's see why we need we are done here like lock then unlock so only this critical section can now be run can be run by only one of the threads so why do we need to have a smarter lock the thing is we have some code here and this piece of code might be calling some functions it might be doing something that will cause some exception and or it may be a new coder has come and he gives some kind of return statement in between and hence what happens is this unlock is never called or in worst case like if some exception happens so this resource that was locked is never released and we have a leak okay so we have a resource leak so based on this problem so we have a problem of resource leak that can happen in between before the unlock gets called so how to handle this exception okay so we will use based on the concept of smart pointers and what is called resource RAII so we will design mutex class that unlocks automatically and smartly so that means when the mutex is going out of scope it means it should get unlocked automatically and how will it happen we will use the concept of objects from c++ okay so this is one of the most important topic so let's try to see this thing so in c++ what happens is we have a concept of objects okay and object are basically so they are from classes which have constructor and they have destructor okay so they have constructors and destructors and when the object comes in formation so its constructor is called and when it is going out of scopes okay so when it is going out of scope its destructor is automatically called okay so its destructor is called when it is going out of scope and when does it go out of scope like if you write something in braces i have some object so object o1 so this will be a when this line is executed so constructor is called when it is going out of scope after this line the destructor will be called okay so this is the main idea so we know now or even if you have a function in which after the returns if there was some temporary object inside the function okay so f i made some temp okay same temp variable of type object so this will go out of scope after the return execution returns from the function and hence the destructor will be called automatically okay so when constructor is called when the object is made and destructor is automatically called when the 
object goes out of scope. So this is the basic concept that is used in all the smart pointers. And let's see how we use it. So we will be using it. Basically, we want to call the lock. We will make this mutex lock inside an object or class where we will call the lock in the constructor and unlock function we will call in the destructor so that when the variable is going out of scope it will be released so even if exception happens so it is going out of scope and automatically the destructor will be called and from the destructor unlock will be called so that is the main idea so let's see so generally let's see if we have a mutex class so what our use will be so this is smart lock I make a class smart lock SM lock and I pass the pointer to the mutex. Okay. So what happens here is basically here we are calling this one is making the constructor calling the constructor and this is calling lock and it is passing the mutex pointer. Okay. Similarly, when I'm going out of scope, so this object now is being destroyed so its destructor of smart lock object is called and in the destructor unlock ampersand m will be called okay so this is very similar to what is lock ampersand m then some code piece of code and then we unlock it but the main thing is what if exception happens in that case locked resource will never get released okay and to prevent that memory leak so this is very important in any industry and even when today there are a lot of small chip devices smartphones and everything is coming so memory is constrained so memory leak should not happen if you are writing a code that has a lot of memory leak so you will not be very much like invited in the company okay so let's see so how we implement it so as we said call whatever you need to when the object is created so you need to call that thing in the constructor smart lock class in the constructor so i'm passing the pointer to the mutex and what i do is this class has mutex pointer and i just in the constructor i do lock mutex pointer okay so this when the object is created here so it will automatically lock this mutex okay and when what happens is when we when it goes out of scope so it's destructor here it is called and here unlock ampersand mutex pointer is called so it will get unlocked so that is the beauty and it is just using the concept of c++ that when it goes out of scope the object goes out of scope its destructor is called and even when exception happens the object will goes out of scope and its destructor will called so it can happen it can prevent memory leak for you okay so one thing is that we don't like that okay i don't want that mutex okay mutex m1 i define and then i don't want that okay if i have made some smart pointer here smart lock then i don't want that i will copy these things so in that case don't want two locks to be copied so we should derive it from the non copyable class where the copy constructor and assignment operators are private functions okay so that is the idea about this lock guard or smart lock where you don't need to unlock it it will automatically unlock the mutex and it will prevent memory leak and it will prevent any kind of lock okay not memory leak because okay so it's not memory leak but it's basically resource leak okay so it's resource leak that we are talking about so resources are never released so it's not memory leak but resource basically a kind of resource leak so we are so much in habit of memory for smart pointers that I call it memory, but it's resource leak. Like I locked the resource, but never released it. So that's the problem here. 
so i hope you understand this problem and i hope you like this video so if you like this video please share it among your friends thanks a lot